Refrigerator and Vents and Drain Your Ollie features a three-way refrigerator-freezer combo. You will find that you may have a Dometic or Norcold fridge installed on your Ollie depending on your year model. The Dometic fridge installed in both the Legacy Elite and Legacy Elite 2 models is 4 cubic feet in size. The Norcold fridge installed on Legacy Elite models is 3.7 cubic feet in size and is 4.5 cubic feet on the Legacy Elite 2. Both brand refrigerators operate similarly and can be used in AC mode, DC mode, LP mode, or auto. In AC mode, the fridge will use 120 volt power from a generator or shore power connection at a campsite. The DC mode uses 12 volt electricity from your batteries and is used only to maintain the coldness of your fridge. You will want to switch your fridge to the DC mode when traveling or when 120 volt electricity or propane is unavailable. The LP mode will use propane to keep your fridge cold. When the refrigerator is in auto mode, it will automatically switch between AC mode and LP mode. If you were hooked up to 120 volt power at a campsite or from a generator, the fridge will automatically use that as the power source, conserving your propane. Once you disconnect from 120 volt power, the fridge will automatically switch to the propane to run your fridge. You will need to ensure that your propane tanks are opened and use LP mode. You can also manually select the power source by depressing the appropriate buttons on the front panel of the fridge. On the front panel of both refrigerator brands, you will see a cold setting button that allows you to cycle cold levels to your desired preference. To open the refrigerator door, Press the latch on the top right and pull open. Inside the fridge, you will see the freezer section at the top. To access the freezer, fold the door down from the top. There are two vents directly to the left of the entry door. These vents are to ensure ample airflow to the refrigerator. Upon inspection of the upper vent, you will notice that the entire compartment is sealed off. This is to prevent harmful gas from entering the cabin. Behind the lower vent, you will see the power wires and LP gas line that feeds the pilot. Regular cleaning of these areas is advised. It is important that you secure the vent covers properly to prevent them from coming off during transit. Please ensure that the four tabs are in the matching slots. Then ensure that the black knobs are fastened securely. Directly below the refrigerator vents on the bottom of the fiberglass shell, you will notice a small drain. This drain is for the condensation coming from the refrigerator. For more information about operating your refrigerator, see the component manual given to you at delivery or view it online in Oliver University.